It's my pleasure today to announce Mac OS X. The original Mac OS X beta, way back in 2001, Steve Odyssey, was codenamed Kodiak after the Alaskan brown bear. See, for hardware projects, Apple typically prefers very dry letter and number strings, kind of like Sony does for their actual product names. The original iPhone was M68. The original iPad was K48. The original watches, N27 and 28. For overall experiences and software projects though, Apple goes full on codename. And I love it. Like Top Gun call signs meets X-Men aliases, all caps, love it. The Intel Mac was Marklar after the South Park aliens. Swift Playgrounds was Serenity, but not Firefly or Caldwell. And CarPlay was Stark after Tony. So how did something so always private become so uniquely public, but just for Mac OS? Well, hit subscribe and buckle up. Because after the beta bear, Apple switched up Mac OS X code names to the big cats, starting with 10.0 Cheetah and 10.1 Puma. But then a funny thing happened on the way to the keynote stage. Steve Jobs decided to use the private code name as a public marketing name. Instead of Mac OS X 10.2, he also proudly proclaimed, This is Jaguar, the next release of Mac OS X. It was just way cooler sounding, especially compared to Windows XP. Redmond, start your photocopiers. And after nearly losing the company before buying Next and getting Steve Jobs back, well, Apple could do with a little cool. Or a lot but it did create a problem. At Apple, there's no such thing as a public code name. So with the big cats burned, the software engineering organization had to come up with a whole new theme. And so of course, they turned to wine. 10.3 became Pinot in private, Panther in public. The PowerPC version of 10.4 was Merlot and the first public Intel version, Chardonnay, but they were both branded as Tiger. 10.5 Chablis became Leopard. But then, then came 10.6 Snow Leopard, which just never had a wine code name. It was always, always Snow Leopard because it was always meant to be a refinement of Leopard. 10.7 Barolo brought the wine back and became Lion, the king of the OS X jungle. And 10.8 Zinfandel, Mountain Lion. With 10.9 Cabernet though, Apple looked at what was left of the big cats. We do not want to be the first software in history to be delayed due to a dwindling supply of cats. <laughs> sorry, Lynx. So sorry, Ocelot. And you know, the answer really was really obvious to us. It's those places that inspire us here in California. And OS X, Mavericks. Almost, but not quite, Top Gun call sign Maverick. No Iceman, Top Gun, X-Men crossover code names though. We collected our crack product marketing team, <laughs> shoved them in their VW minibus, and set them out on the road. 10.10 .10 Syrah became Yosemite. Then with OS 10 10.11, the Mac team changed direction. The wine retired to a vineyard because of course it did. And the new program management at Apple decided to switch to apples. Literal Garden of Eden, Sir Isaac Newton, pie and crumble. How do you like them apples? Starting with Gala as in Royal, released as El Capitan. The crack marketing team wasn't going to be upstaged though. They, they say it's all part of their process. So with 10.12, they decided to escalate again by changing the name of the operating system itself from OS 10 to Mac OS. So Fuji became Mac OS Sierra. 10.13 Lobo, Lobo made Sierra high, or rather high Sierra. But then Apple changed things up again, adopting a sign of the darkest timeline times theme for all of their operating systems that year iOS was peace, watchOS was glory, tvOS was hope, and macOS 10.14, that was liberty. But it got released as Mojave because dark mode. 10.15 Jazz didn't continue the zoom out, zoom in geographical pattern, didn't follow Mojave with Death Valley. No. Much to my personal emo goth chagrin, it went with the much, much cheerier Catalina instead. I think we've nailed it. And then came one of the most symbolic, monumental changes in the history of the modern Mac. Mac OS version 11. And it was golden. Not golden delicious, golden gate. They called it Sir, Big Sir. Now it's a full on version each year, including this year, in beta now and going into general release this fall. Mac OS 12, Star, Monterey. And for a full rundown of all those features, see my preview right here, or check out this other video YouTube thinks you may like better. It's me versus the algorithm. So let me know which one you choose and I'll see you in that next video.